there is no longer two clear, distinct states of peace and war. What constitutes a weapon in this grey area no longer has to go bang. Energy, cash as bribes, corrupt business practices, cyber attacks, assassination, fake news, propaganda, and indeed military intimidation are all examples of the weapons used to gain advantage in this era of constant competition. The arch exponent of this is Russia. They represent a clear and present danger. They are now on Europe's doorstep. And the character of warfare is making it much harder for us to recognize true intentions and thus distinguish between what is peace and what is war. Now this system warfare has to be defeated. Russia, I think, could initiate hostilities sooner than we expect. Most likely they will use nefarious actions to erode the capability of NATO and threaten the very structure that provides our own defense and security. It will start with something we don't expect. But we may not have a choice about conflict with Russia. So what should we be doing differently? We should identify Russian weaknesses and then maneuver asymmetrically against them. We've got to continue to work at improving NATO. And I think to do all of this, we need to return to an annual or biennial NATO exercise rhythm. This would allow frontline countries to practice mobilization. We need to prepare ourselves to fight the war we might have to fight.